Slick talker since a jet. When it's time, all the time, ooh. Yeah. Look at the way that I move. Swag. Disrespectful and I'm rude. Okay. I had cocaine in the school. Uh, when I want hell of a kid. I am. Smoking gas, drugging me. I'm lit. What you doing? I done did. I swear. Slick talker since a jet. Finesse. I know that this what they want. Facts. Run up some money, I'm gone. I'm a Hey yo, what's poppin' y'all? More J here, man. We are back with some more Bleach on the channel, guys. We're on episode 36 of Bleach, and last time we have a situation on our hands, guys, because it seems like we're going to get two captain fights upcoming in maybe not this episode, but close. Because we have Chad, and there's just one dude, one of the captains, he's he found one of the Rokas being Chad, and he's going to confront Chad, uh, I'm assuming, this episode as well. And we also have Ichigo and Kenpachi about to, seem like they're about to square off for the first time. You know, Kenpachi, ever since, you know, the Rokas came or he found out about them, he's been wanting to smoke from Ichigo, or the strongest person in the group, so. It's been a long time coming, but I don't think Ichigo is ready. I feel like it's way too soon for this fight to be happening. Unless in the Bleach universe there's Zenkai boost, you know how like in Dragon Ball Z, you know, Sans get stronger after each battle they, they they take, you know, they get injured, they get stronger, unless there's that situation going on. Don't think Ichigo is ready for this battle, I mean, you could say in his battle against Renji that when he strengthens his resolve, he's on a whole nother level because, you know, he literally stomped Renji when he went into that uh, blue-eyed, silver-eyed form, so... You know, he might be a match for Kimpachi while he's in that kind of state. So that may, you know, help him out here. But just like, like basic things, I feel like he's not like, he's not ready for this smoke at all, my guy. And it scares me because of what Biaka, not what Biaka, but Renji said about the limiter situation and stuff. Like how they were like five times, they're five times stronger than they were in well, when they fought back on his world, the human world, so where does that put Byakuya? And I'm assuming Byakuya and Kenpachi would be around the same level, so that's scary. That is scary. Who knows, Kenpachi may even be stronger than freaking uh, Byakuya because they say Squad 11's a combat, combat squad, and you expect the leader of that squad to be probably the best person combat-wise in like all of soul society maybe so this could be a major problem so but like you should have said kenpachi and ichigo seem very similar in terms of how they fight they're both simple-minded so i'm assuming kenpachi is going to fight just like ichigo and you know he probably has a bunch of spiritual energy just like ichigo i mean look what's even happening now freaking even rukia who's it's very strange because they said that she can't sense any spiritual energy power or none of that when she's inside that room but she could feel the pressure that kenpachi was giving out so what does that mean does that mean that kenpachi's pressure is just that strong that it's able to i don't know Ruki's is able to feel it that's kind of crazy if that's the case that just scares me even more because she wasn't even able to feel freaking ichigo's when he was in that state of his when he was fighting renji so this might be on a whole nother level that's making me even worry that Ichigo doesn't even stand a chance if he even does, you know, become like that, you feel me? So, I don't know. But we also have Chad, his situation, you're gonna fight that captain. Um, Like I said, Chad's the perfect specimen. You can't beat the perfect specimen. Even Ichigo said he's very confident that Chad, he doesn't, he doesn't see Chad losing at any point, any time. So, I don't know, but... Chad's a newbie, you feel me, with this whole spirit stuff. But he, oh, he, but he, he is beating people that have probably been training for years on end. So you know, maybe being a newbie doesn't even matter. I mean, he goes a newbie and he just beat Renji. So maybe that's irrelevant. But uh, a captain should have a lot of experience in combat. So I don't know. And he seems very confident right now. The captain, he seems very confident. He's probably gonna underestimate Chad. Uh, which he shouldn't do, but he said he's going to be over in like two seconds, so we'll see how that goes, but I feel like Chad's going to give him a run for his money, for sure, but my question is right now, but where is Yoruchi? Where's Yoruchi? 
Iruchi is supposed to be supervising us. Like, he, like, like, what's his purpose in all of this? You feel me? Like, he's just a cat, my guy. Like, what? Like, can he not, like, help us out in terms of combat-wise? Like, I mean, is he just a cat with spiritual energy and that's it? He's just showed us around social society, like, oh, this is how we get in and this is where Rukia is or this is how we get to her. And that's it. I'm done. Like, where is he at? You feel me? It's been a couple of days. You feel me? And he hasn't even, like, I mean, he might have met up with Inoue and Isha by now possibly because we haven't seen them either they've been off screen for a couple episodes now so you know i don't know but like where is he my guy you know you think that he want to keep us safe i mean he might be sensing our spiritual power and he might be i don't know he, he thinks that we're still alive because he senses us i don't know but uh, what's his game what's he doing why hasn't he you know met up with the squad at least ishida or in a way because they're they'd be pretty easy to find i'm assuming but because Ichigo is freaking in the sewer, he was hiding this whole time. So it, it, it's just surprising, you feel me? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. But <laughs> yeah, we're going, we're going, we're going to see if Ichigo is ready. I don't think he's ready, but we'll see. So let's go. Whoa, brother, your Ruchi face, bro. Every episode, bro, it's got to be a meme. <laughs> Yeah, feel that pressure, boy. Look at the sweat. Ooh. Five. What's squad five? What is that? Oh, that's Eisen squad. So she got sent to prison probably for trying to assault Ichimaru, which is so sus because Ichimaru should have been sent to prison in the first place. He's about to get in trouble. Oh damn, she got the bitties. Got the titties. Right, she looks dead. Did you see her eyes? Chaotic, ooh. See, ooh. That's what I'm saying. This could help Ichigo his situation out, and they're trying to get Ruki. This distraction of Aizen's death can literally help them out so much since they're going to have to focus on two things at one time. You feel me? Like, what the hell happened to Captain Aizen, which is extremely important because he's a captain and he was just pretty much i guess assassinated and these rokas are also a problem like how do we divide this like you know what I'm saying how do we divide these two tasks investigating the crime scene and wasn't there a sword in them oh and lieutenant at the same time I'm talking about her mm. i mean i had to see it from her perspective especially what you guys said literally her captain was just killed can you blame her really hey, my man knew he was gonna die or something wait wait is our captain who found it is it is it you guy or her captain and the little wave by and, and guys one thing one thing is freaking um they they have to think about they have to think about this logically you feel me like they're they got to think about it is who is even strong enough to be able to kill this man in the first place you feel me like i don't think no lieutenant would be on that level so they can cross out suspects so like who who would be even strong enough you think another captain would do it and they should be investigating the freaking blade that he got stabbed with because there's still a blade in his body so you know there's something that he can narrow it down to i'm assuming he could have been sneak attack though so i don't know oh bro he really didn't know he's gonna die down the whole season this show is are amazing so he so he knows what's up then. He knew somebody was after his ass. I have never spoken to you. That is tough. Who's writing that right there? Yeah, spill the beans, bro. Who done it? Oh, she shook. Um, come on, don't pan away from the scene, bro. I don't even want to see this fight. I don't want to know what happened. Yeah, bro. That damn. Look at his eyes. Y'all not ready for this. Ichi, it's first time Ichigo's running. 
Uh, he's not ready, bro. Kenpachi. You should have waited a bit longer if you want a real match. I don't think he's ready. It's like the pressure's so great. It's like they're in like a gravity room, like in Dragon Ball Z. Oh, oh, look at the imagery, bro. That is sauce. Damn. <laughs> not that one. Oh, he found his target. Oh no, Ichigo, this is, you're not ready, boy. Look at the one eye. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Is he down? He just looked. Oh! 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 Did he just throw a blade? Oh, he's not ready. I said he's not ready. He's not ready, guys. He's not ready. Oh my gosh, go back. Hold up. What the hell? My man, my man was just up. He was just up there. And I'm assuming he's right behind him. And he went down and Ichigo didn't notice. He probably speed blissed his ass, bro. What, what did he do? Did he just chuck his blade into his damn shoulder? And why are they always targeting the shoulders? I mean, I guess. But damn. Look at this, bro. Ichigo's like, oh. Bro. Come on. He's not ready, guys. It's not time. God damn. Oh, that didn't actually happen. You probably scared. Gosh. Kenpachi, you probably disappointed. <laughs> oh, yep, he gonna remember what Ikaku said. Watch out for the captain. Find out. Okay, Kenpachi's no joke, guys. Gosh. Yes. Like I said, though. Is Kenpachi like the strongest, like, hand to hand, hand, like, fighting wise, you'll feel me? Because obviously he leads the combat squad. So, like, you know? I wonder how he got that scar to the death, bro. Death battle? Mmm. Like they said, you can't, you can't feel it. That's kind of crazy that like she's able to. See, that's crazy. That's crazy because she probably thinks it's Ichigo because of how high his spiritual power is. You feel me? Because Ichigo has a like a hell of a ton of spiritual energy, right? But <laughs> it's Kenpachi. <laughs> Ricky, I'm sorry. That's not going to happen. He's probably going to die before he runs. She, she praying. <laughs> Yo, dude looks like a tank. You can't really get away right now. Kampachi, bro. Come on, man. He's not ready. Oh, snap. Is Hanator drooling? Oh, my God. My man literally had a seizure. Bro, Ganju, bro. He actually has faith in Ichigo. Look at the lieutenant. <laughs> Guys, this is a problem. <laughs> A lieutenant and a captain, guys. <laughs> it's just such a problem right now. Oh my gosh. Please. Bro. Guys. What the hell is Ichigo thinking? I mean, actually, Ganju and Hanatoro will get in the way, but they can't just let that happen, you feel me? Literally, the, the, the pink hair chick just bleed blitz Ichigo. Can he even take her on? Like, bro, this is... There's nobody here to help his ass. Not even Yoruchi. Where the hell are our teammates? Like, come on. He's a fight to the death. Yeah, he don't care about the others. Like you say, you don't, don't care about weak men. Oh, oh, okay. That was sauce with the... Oh, he going into that form. Okay. Yeah, run of a mill lieutenants. Oh, that kind of that's kind of disrespectful though. He said run of a mill lieutenants. So you tell me, <laughs> freaking range is a run of a mill lieutenant. <laughs> I'll give you a handicap. <laughs> Gosh, bro, he flexing. He trying to flex on you. Okay, I wouldn't want I wouldn't want somebody to do that to me either. I would want you to find me a full power. Just have some fun, bro. 
Kimpachi was joking this whole time on his way to find Ichigo, but now he's hella savage. <laughs> my neck or gut? Oh. Oh my gosh, Ichigo's actually doing it. <laughs> There's no way he can defeat him. But you you said that. What, you officially said the same thing when he was fighting Renji, though. So yeah, I don't know, <laughs> but I I actually do agree this time. <laughs> Archie is passed down through the generations to the one in the thirteen who loves to fight most, who loves to kill. Oh, so he got his name passed down to him. Killed you. Wait, wait, wait. What? What did he just say? No matter what, no matter how many times he's killed, he will never go down. Uh, what? What? Can you can you kill him? Or is that a translation or what? He oh he is immortal. Oh my god, he's me. Oh snap! You gotta believe in your friends. Yep. Look at Ganji, bro. <laughs> okay, but the thing is, if you say Rukia, she's just going to be dead weight. Because <laughs> she can't do anything. She doesn't have any powers. So when you try to go save his ass, he's just going to be in the way as well. Gosh. Oh my gosh. Yo, he got... He telling me his own hand started bleeding? <laughs> Yo, his voice sounds so hopeless. Gosh, what a letdown. Oh, I knew he was going to be disappointed. Yo, Ichigo is bugging. Wow! Okay, Uzi out of me is much stronger. How is he going to beat him? He can't beat him. Especially when he. <laughs> oh. Oh, Ichigo. No! Oh. Oh, no, you're playing yourself, boy. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no, guys. This is, this is hopeless. This is hopeless. There is no way in hell Ichigo is beating this dude unless he goes Super Saiyan 2. Because he went Super Saiyan versus Renji. He's got to go Super Saiyan 2 now. But I don't know, guys. It's, it's, it's like, it's too, it's too much. It's too much. Literally, he can't, he can't even cut him. Like the spiritual power he said is oozing out his body is strong enough to not even have Ichigo pierce his body. So imagine when he uses his Zanpak toe. And speaking of which, freaking Zanpak toe is actually considering based on how Ichigo's Zanpak toe looks, it's freaking big and I guess wide because of his spiritual pressure. I was expecting his to be kind of the same because he has such a high spiritual pressure, such high spiritual energy like Ichigo. So like I expected it to be like hella big or like why like Ichigo's but it looks pretty thin here from this freaking scene so and it is rusty look it has freaking edges it looks like it's dented a little bit you know it looks like freaking Inosuke's blade a little bit from Demon Slayer but obviously way less dented but yeah and, and it's rusty so he has it fought in a minute but what's crazy is is that Kenpachi is immortal how 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 is he immortal? How 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 is this guy me? How? That doesn't make sense. Obviously, he got his name passed down. So is he the only captain that's immortal, or are all the captains immortal? You feel me? Or is it just Kenpachi? So is Kenpachi is Kenpachi the strongest captain? Is he the strongest captain? Because we know Captain Squad Eleven is known for their combat, and we don't know what all the other squads are known for, but. Is there is like a squad known for Zompak though specifically that'd be crazy, but They're known for their combat. So I'm assuming he's probably the strongest captain combat wise if he's leading that squad that's based on combat So this this is crazy and the lieutenant the lieutenant doesn't look like somebody that's like ready to throw hands But she is part of squad 11, which is a combat squad So I can't underestimate her and as we saw she's bleed blitz Ichigo so I don't know guys. I don't know. So she's probably like super she's probably super strong herself in terms of combat as well. So this this is just crazy. I don't see how Ichigo is gonna gonna pull out of this, but 
Yeah, I mean, we didn't get, we didn't see Chad this episode. Uh, there's a captain obviously going after his ass as well, so no, that's dangerous. <clears throat> but Yoruchi, where the hell are you, man? Where the hell is Yoruchi? Where the hell is Ishida? Where the hell is Inoue? Because I remember a couple episodes back, they were um, they were on their way to go, or at least Ishida said, and Chad was on his way as well. But they were on their way to go back up Ichigo on his like fight with Renji because they sensed the spiritual pressure. You feel me? So they're on their way there, but we haven't seen them since, and it's been a couple of days now because Ichigo's been resting after the Renji fight and stuff. So it's been a couple of days now, and Yoruchi is nowhere to be found, and in a way, in Ishida, no mention of them. Obviously, they haven't been captured yet. Obviously, we haven't even gotten any notice on that. They're probably still hidden somewhere, you know, buying time waiting somewhere. They probably haven't been encountered by anybody yet. You feel me? They're probably just in hiding, but I'm assuming they would be actively looking and searching for Ichigo. And Yoruchi, he should be hella concerned because Ichigo is fighting a captain right now, and Yoruchi was like, do not fight a captain. Get the hell out of there if you see a captain. So your Ruchi must be freaking pissing his damn freaking... Well, he doesn't have pants. But he must be pissing himself. Because freaking... Well, I don't know. He can't really piss himself either. But <laughs> you feel me? He's pretty much pissing himself. Because literally he should be. Or yes. So like... <laughs> he, he, he should be. So like... He, does he know what's going on? Does he understand... Did, did, did he know that Ichigo was fighting Renji? And does he know that this fight is happening? This should not be happening, bro. This should not be happening. But anyway, Ganju and Hanator, they're going to Rukia. That's definitely not going to go as smooth as they wanted to. They're, since Kenpachi was there and it looked like Chad was near where Rukia was at and Ichigo were at, at that place. Forget what the tower's called or where she's gonna, the site's called, where she's going to be executed at. But Chad was near there too and there's another captain nearby. I'm assuming there's probably other captains and lieutenants situated around the big tower where Ruki is at. So they're probably going to get intercepted as well. So that's going to be interesting because Ganju and Hanatoro aren't necessarily strong. I mean, obviously Ganju did beat the 5th seat. I'm just, wasn't it the 5th seat of squad 11? If I'm mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, was it he was like the 5th seat, right? It beat the, Ganju beat the 5th seat, so... He's okay, but he's not on no lieutenant level, of course. So, if they run into a lieutenant, and they probably will, you feel me? That's gonna be interesting. Also, we got freaking Hinamori. She she got a letter from Aizen, and like, what does it say? Because it just was wondering, like, you feel me? Like, what what's in the letter? The, like, who is targeting him? You feel me? Is it actually Ichimaru? Like, who is it? You feel me? That's that's very interesting. But Hinamori was shook. So I'm assuming it's something bigger than Ichimaru. Because if it was Ichimaru, I'd be like, he'd probably be like, yes, I knew it. But she was like, oh, oh. Awesome. This chick. Is she Hitsugaya's lieutenant? Or somebody's in Ichigaya's squad? Because he said it was lucky our captain found the notes, the letter that uh what's his name Eisen left behind so i'm assuming ichigaya was the captain that found it and ordered to give it to hinamori because uh, he seems like he messes with hinamori in some type of way maybe he grew up with hinamori or something like that so is this chick the lieutenant i think maybe i'm not sure we have this thing here where they're talking about kenpachi but I have a question. They say his name is passed down to one who loves to fight the most. That means the name Kenpachi is passed down to captains that love to fight most or whatever, right? Were the previous people named Kenpachi, were they immortal as well? Or is it just this Kenpachi that's immortal? If that's the case, then how the hell did they die? Because they're not around unless they just retired. You feel me? They could have just retired. But, or maybe, could, can you die by age? I mean, no, you can't. Ricky is like, she said she was like three times or five times older than freaking Ichigo, so maybe not. But, you feel me? You know, what What happened, you know, if if they were immortal? You know, were they like sealed? You know, what, what happened, you feel me? That's interesting. But, 
Anyway, a lot of things happen in this episode, guys. So, I'm going to wrap it up here. If you guys like this reaction, don't forget to give it a like. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, man, stay tuned for some more Leech on the channel. Peace.